Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are designing this responsive home page using Figma. And in the previous video, we started designing the components for our design. So these are the two components that we designed. We have a component for buttons and also for headings. Now creating components can make the task of designing easier and quicker. So in this video, we'll create this component over here for testimonials card. So let's get started. Now there are three parts in this card. We have this part over here for the content of the testimonial. And then we have the name and the company name over here. And then we also have this image over here. So we have to join all of these elements together and we have to create a component out of that. And we also have to make sure that it is responsive. So let's go back to our Figma file. And let's start by creating a text layer. So let's click on text. And let's type something over here. So I'll just type amazing work. Well done. Right now let's change some properties over here. So first of all, let's change the font size to 18 pixels. And we will keep the font as a railway. And we will change the line height to 150%. And we'll also change the color of the text to white. So let's click on this and select the white color. Now let's make this an auto layout. So I'll just right click over here and click on add auto layout. Now let's go inside the text layer and uh, here we will set this width to fill container. So now when we change the width of this uh, frame, we can see that the text goes down to the next line. Right now let's rename this to testimonial content. Right now let's create a new text layer and this will be for the name. So I just type Jane Cooper. And we'll set the font size to 24 pixels. And I think the font size of this text hasn't changed. So let's double click over here. And we can see it is still 12 pixels. So let's change it to 18 pixels. Right now let's change the color of this text to a dark color that we have over here. So I'll just click on this color and select this dark color from here. Right now let's duplicate this. I'll just press Alt and drag it down. And here we will add the company name and the designation. So I'll just type developer Sony. And I'll just change the font size to 18 pixels. And we'll change the font style to regular. Right now let's select both of this and let's make this an auto layout. So I'll just right click over here and click on add auto layout. Right now let's add a circle for this image. So I'll just click on this arrow and click on ellipse. And uh, I'll just create a circle of 120 pixels width and height. And here I'll just add an image. So I'll just right click over here and go to plugins. And uh, let's select this plugin over here called Pexels. So I have already installed this plugin. So let's go over here to Pexels. And let's search for person. And let's select this image from here. Right now let's make this an auto layout as well. So I'll just right click and click on add auto layout. Right now let's select this and uh, let's add some padding. So let's click on this button right here. And we will add a top and bottom padding of 24 pixels. And for left and right we will have a padding of 32 pixels. And now let's add a background color. So let's click on plus over here in fill. And uh, let's click on this uh, color. And let's select a color from here. So I'll just select this color right here. So I'll just click on this color over here. And we'll also add a border radius. So let's go over here to the top. And we'll add a border radius of 24 pixels. And we'll also change the names over here. So I'll just change this to testimonial name. And I'll just change this to testimonial image. Right now let's select both of this and let's create an auto layout. So I'll just right click over here and click on add auto layout. And let's go over here to alignment and padding and let's change this to center. And let's add a padding of 32 pixels for left and right. Right now let's select all of this and let's create an auto layout. So I'll just right click over here and click on add auto layout. 
or now let's change the width of this to the full width over here and we'll just name this testimonial all right now let's select this frame over here and i'll just name this name and image and let's also remove the spacing from here so let's click on testimonial and i'll just remove this uh, spacing between items all right now if we increase the size of this testimonial we want the image to move over here to the right so for that we have to set full width for this name and uh, company so i'll just double click over here and select this frame over here and let's change the resizing to fill container and now if we increase the width of this testimonial we can see that the image moves to the right now we have to do the same for this uh, frame over here as well so let's double click over here and let's change this to fill container and now we can see everything works all right now let's change the background color so i'll just click on plus over here and I'll also change the border radius to 24 pixels. Now the next thing we have to do is we have to move this image up a little bit. So let's double click over here and uh, I'll just change the padding to zero. And now let's click on this uh, alignment and padding and let's click on packed and let's select space between. And now we can go ahead and add some padding over here. So we can see that the image has this offset over here. So what I will do is I'll just select auto layout to vertical direction. And now let's change this bottom value over here. And now we can see that the image moves up. So I'll just set this value to 24 pixels. And I think that looks all right. And let's also add a box shadow. So I'll just select testimonial. And let's click on plus over here in effects. And let's click on effect settings. And I'll just change the Y value to let's say 9. And let's change the blur to, let's say, 36 pixels. And I'll just change this uh, percentage to 20%. I think that looks all right. Now let's add some more text over here and let's see what happens. And now we can see when we add text, it moves down and everything looks all right. And we also need to change the line height. So let's double click over here on the text layer. And I'll just change the line height over here. So I think 150% looks all right. All right, now let's delete all of this. All right, now let's make this a component. So let's click on this and let's click on create component. And now let's create a variant for the mobile version. So let's click on plus for variants. And I'll just select this testimonial and we'll just change this property name to platform. And by default, we will have the platform set to desktop. And uh, for this one, we'll set it to desktop. And for the next one, we will set it to mobile. And for the mobile version, I'll just change the font size of this name to 18 pixels. And I'll just change the font size of this text over here to 14 pixels. And we'll also change the size of this image. So let's select this uh, ellipse and I'll just set it to 100 pixels and let's select this frame and let's make some changes over here so I'll just change uh, this value to let's say 42 pixels and I'll just reduce the height of this image frame and I think that looks all right all right now let's go to assets and let's add this testimonial component over here so let's drag this over here and we can see this is the component so it is responsive and let's go over here to platforms and let's select mobile version and this is how the mobile version looks so everything works all right so that's it with the testimonials component so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day